Good morning, this is Margaret Fetty at the University of Sewing and it's Facebook Live. We are back in 2023 and I hope this is just a wonderful year for you. We had a lovely holiday season. We were really happy to have some time off. Uh, came back re-energized and really excited about some new things that we're going to be working on. And I'm here to just welcome you back. And thank you for coming in on Facebook Live this morning. So we have actually some really cool things. We gave it away yesterday. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I love one. <laughs> so we're getting our little giveaway. You guys all know we give something away every time. Well, as per usual, I have to have my employees actually remind me to get one because I'm excited about everything else. Check out this, guys. This is our wedding quilt. When Dave and I got married in 2000 and was it 20? Oh, help me, Dave. Come on. Quit laughing at me. <laughs> It'll be two years. Two ago. years. So it was March 20. 8th. So it was 20. So no, 21 then. Come on. Quit just doing <laughs> 21. That That's really mean. 21. <laughs> so... <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> so, um, when we got married in 21, and we had a whole bunch of employees who were working here, they all chimed in on this. So, some of these folks are no longer with us. Um, they've moved on to other things. But, for instance, Denise did this lovely one. And you guys have met Leia before, and she did this. Um, I think that this, I have a piece of paper here. Uh Belle, who used to work for us, she is so sweet. I really enjoyed Belle a lot. And I'm sorry that she she decided to go a different direction because she was really quite talented. She did these two corners right here. Alice did all the embroidery because she's the one who knows how to do it. <laughs> so um, if you guys knew Dave, you'd understand that I'm always walking around asking, where did Dave go? And this is my employee's funny attitude towards that. Um, this dragons, anybody who knows me knows I like my dragons and I even wore my dragon necklace today. Um, Dave and I met at the Players Pub, which it was at the time a place that played blues music every night of the week. And both he and I enjoy music and we like to dance. So we uh, have this and... Um, then down through the middle here, Kayla, who used to work for us, did these two pieces. Um, I'm trying to remember. Oh, Pat did this one. She's, you guys have met her on our Saturdays. So Pat did that one. And down on this bottom, uh, Madeline, who used to work for us. She was the sweet young lady who used to work for us. And then we're not sure who made this one. <laughs> we, we think it's one of three people. So anyway, we wanted to let you know, um, I should say, I wanted to publicly acknowledge all my wonderful employees. Pat quilted this um, on her Q24, and, and we just wanted to make it kind of public how much we appreciate our employees and how sweet they are and what a cool thing this was. And I kind of thought, I mean, you guys are practically family, so I thought you might enjoy this. So, so. Caitlin's here today. Come and say hi. Oh, <laughs> I'm hiding in the wings. She is, and she takes care of me because I'm a goofball and I can't get it together someday. We're both goofballs. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this wonderful zippy strippy pattern that is the cutest little bags. And this pattern's in here, and you have three different bags you can make from it. And, you know, patterns are just wonderful like that. You just can keep making them over and mm -hmm. over again. And I'm hoping one of my friends bought one of these because I'd like to get one. Yeah. <laughs> so, and actually, it's super cute. I don't know, but what I've done with things that I know I'm going to make over again, especially with those, like I was making a toe bag, I made templates. Oh, and what did you use for that? Honestly, I just used, like, I got some cheap plastic cutting boards, like the flimsy kind of ones. Uh -huh. Well, and we have template you plastic. Do. We do have template plastic. I didn't plastic. realize that until afterwards. Okay. And it probably would have been much easier to use. Because those those things you're talking about are fairly thick. They are thick. So, so the, the template plastic would be a great idea. Um, 
or you could even put it on poster board or yeah. you could do it onto a foam board oh. either one of those i think would work really well so then you can so, really just whip them out right fast. cut them out a group of them so anyway we're going to give this away to you so this is the deal is if you, you're fairly new and we've got some new people coming on all the time so if you're new and you want to be entered into the drawing to win the pattern then what you want to do is you want to share on your Facebook page and then you're going to go down into the comments and you're going to say shared. You mean like Kimberly and Deborah? Thank you, Kimberly and Deborah. You guys are so sweet. I Star appreciate students. it. Star students. Yes, yes. Well, De uh, Debra, Debbie has been doing this for a long time. Oh. So, But you're talking Deborah, aren't yes. you? Okay, so Deborah, yeah, she's actually... I'm gonna have to introduce you to her sometime. She's yeah. really a sweet lady. Please do. So, and and I'm sure that Kimberly, I would probably recognize if I saw her, but maybe she's one of our folks who don't live close. No. So, because I usually remember the name Kimberly because that was my cousin's name, and, huh. and so it's just something. It's connection, family yeah. connection, you right. know. So, all right, we're gonna set this aside, and we are gonna show off a few things today. We have some really cute fabrics. Um, cute. You know, you guys, you're just stuck with me and my love of sewing stuff. So, first off, there is this adorable fabric. This is a Riley Blake, and it's got little spools on it. Mm -hmm. And they're so <laughs> just so sweet. They are. And you know what? I'm going to just tell you, I'll bet every single person in the audience doesn't have enough of what we call low volume mm. prints which are just really subtle. They're usually light in color. And you need stuff like this because no matter what you're making in a quilt, it almost invariably you have all these wonderful bright prints or maybe you're one who likes something more traditional and you tend towards darks. That's, I, I'm, I love the traditional darks and I love the bright prints, but I tend towards a darker palette. Mm -hmm. I never have light stuff in my, and, and so, I bought this thinking all of us can use some of it. And this one's so nice. It's got some real pretty colors in it. It's got teal, gold, and pink. It's very subtle, and it would go so wonderfully in so many different things. So that was one. Okay, this one's a riot. This one has a definite yellow cast to the background. But it's little houses. <laughs> all of these are just so sweet. They are so the sweet. Prints. They're just little baby houses. So then this one's a crack up. This one's like the perfect little, I mean, I could see this on a little apron. Mm -hmm. I could see this for so many things. So nice. I love that. And then we have a little chair with a, a tea towel over it. Our little bag of knitting sewing with a seam ripper again all of these are riley blake and they're so sweet um but they're this kind of idea of being a low volume not a lot of color to it but it does add a little bit of uh, you know something we need and and you just you need some of those colors mm -hmm. so all right now these are bigger and I heavier got them. so i'm going to ask you to help me here mm -hmm. so we just got in, these are all wide backs. So, oh, and I have an announcement speaking of wide backs and quilting. We decided to postpone our cumatic and uh, long arm event mm -hmm. um, for a variety of reasons, but no to self, we're gonna do it in April. Um, we weren't getting a lot of signups. I think it was cause it was right after Christmas and I think that I really didn't think that through when I scheduled it. Um, all on me, guys. Um, I've already contacted the couple of people who have signed up and told them, with the exception of Pat, who works here. Yeah, Pat. I'm, I'm going to tell her today. <laughs> I don't know if she's watching today or not, but I needed to tell her. But we did decide we were going to wait until April. So I think that might make it better in a lot of ways. The weather should be better. Yeah. The, you know, it won't be at a time. Well, it might be in a really cool time of year. You might be getting your tax return back. <laughs> what a perfect way to spend it. <laughs> might be. Come and have fun it, with us. And we got some notices about some price changes from Bernina. 
and the studio frame is going to have some unique things going on with it. So I'm really excited about that, and I can announce all of that at the beginning of February. So if you've been thinking about it, there's going to be some neat things going on here with those. So um, if you're, you know, you were thinking, oh, I'd really like to go, but I just, you know, I spent everything over Christmas, or I spent enough over Christmas. Yeah. You know, obviously most of us aren't spending everything, right. but we spend a lot over the holidays. Mm -hmm. We're traveling, we're going, and we're doing all kinds of things. And we do tend to, you know, we've kind of blown the budget by this point in time. So hopefully by April, you will want to come to a Q event. Yeah. And so Robin's going to be here. She was nice enough to let me reschedule and big shout out to her thank you very much robin for doing that um so we're already getting started telling people about it in april and guess what guys i just changed the dates on the system so whenever you think that you want to do that you can go online today and sign up for the april q events and it leaves plenty of time for you people that aren't near us to plan for travel there you visit. go. You could come and do that. Yeah, yeah. So, finally get to meet you know, some people. Yeah, would that be neat? So mm. wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna get back to these wonderful wide backs. Now these are all from QT Fabrics, and QT Fabrics, their prices are so reasonable. I couldn't believe the prices on these. These are only sixteen fifty a yard. So, and this is got this wonderful kind of creamy background. It's got some lovely blues in it, a little bit of orange, and a little bit of brown. It is super beautiful. And it has enough going on that if you're not 100% feeling good about your quilting, it's gonna hide it. Yep. You never thought about <laughs> so, that. Well, I have people tell me from time to time that they like backgrounds that are a little bit busy so, so they don't have it. to worry about hey, it. Hey, that's smart. <laughs> so that's one thing. Um, now, we have the next one here. This looks like, I, remember I said I do like traditional. Now, I wouldn't say most of our shop is traditional. No. But we do have some things that have a little more of a traditional vibe mm -hmm. sometime. I think this fits into that category. This makes me think of something, um, you know, mosaic floor tiles, Moroccan. Tiles, Moroccan. Yeah. It's really pretty. The colors, the again, the, so the, they're very striking. rich. And then we've got this gorgeous brown in here that really make them pop. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful, or maybe, I don't know, maybe you'd call it more of a dark gold. Yeah. So it's very, very lovely. Um, and I believe that these are only $16.50 a yard. $16 Isn't that correct? $16.50 a yard for these backings. That's the least inexpensive wide backs we've got. Very, very cool prices. Um, then, this is my favorite. It almost didn't go on the floor. I almost decided to keep to it keep all. keep it all. Wow. <laughs> I love this. Look at the old-fashioned sewing machines. Now, this has a peach background on it, um, and it's got Oh Did my goodness, again? my silly phone. Um, actually, that was my watch, but it's got the dress forms and, and it's got the old fashioned dress form. This one's so fun because it's got like the bu bustle bump out for it and stuff. The antique sewing machines. You know what? We saw one of these recently and I, I really was going to, I was thinking very seriously about buying it. It was so cool. So, very beautiful, lots of sewing stuff on it. It's going to make for really cool backing on a quilt. You know, if you bought some of our, in the past year, we've had some really cool groups of pre-cuts that have a sewing theme. Mm. That Laura Heine group of them mm -hmm. that we had, that had the dress form on it and stuff. I was thinking, oh my goodness, wouldn't that be fun to do a quilt out of those and then put that as the back? Yeah. <laughs> so. Now, this one, I think, is super cool. It's so pretty. I love green. I'm a sucker and we, for green. we don't have a lot of greens, and so this one has a little bit of teal in it, a wonderful shade of green in it. It is very, very lovely, very rich looking. It's got wonderful color to it. I really like this one. So I think that, you know, for those of you who are like you, but, you know, the funny thing about all of these 
is any one of them, if you wanted to, could be used for other things. Yeah. You don't have to just use them for the back of quilts. This, I think this could make a really cool jacket. Oh, definitely. <laughs> you know, like one of those shirt jacket type uh -huh. of things. I think that'd be super cute. I think the one with the sewing motifs on it, I could see doing a, uh, I could see doing a garment bag out of it. I could see doing a tote bag out of it. Really pretty. So any of these, don't get the fact that it's a wide back. Don't don't pigeonhole yourself mm. on that. I think that's really cool. Did you know that we have a special sale going on, Caitlin? <gasps> I don't think I do. Okay. So we have on sale a bunch of Burnett sewing machines. January is our clearance month, and we've got these cool machines that we hope that you will take a look at. Um, maybe a good time to purchase for a gift for somebody. We've got the 05 Academies both on sale. Mm. Really good prices on those. But, you know, when you buy a sewing machine, what do you need? Accessories. And fabric. Oh, and fabric. <laughs> you need fabric. All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> you need some really cool stuff. So, if you go on the on sale part of our website, if it's fabric, books, or patterns, anything that's in clearance, you're going to get an extra 20% off. So, that is that sale is going to go on through the 15th. On the 16th, we're going to be putting some other things together for you. January is going to be the month of let's clean out the mm -hmm. closet kind of thing. I'll help clean it out by so, getting some fabric. What I think you guys should do is look through your fabric and all the things that you just bought over the years, and you you know you're never going to make it up into anything. Let's donate that stuff. Every one of you has a quilt guild that has some sort of show going on, and they probably do like a hmm. treasure room or something. Get rid of the stuff that you don't like. Take a look at our clearance section, guys. This stuff is all current fabrics. It's all in the colors you like. It's all the kinds of stuff you want. And you are going to get it for less than what I paid for it. Because what it's done is it's taken the 40% off that we normally do mm -hmm. and added another 20%. That's really good. It's a 60% discount. And I've always been straight up with everybody. We just basically, what we pay for things, we double it. That's what I've always done. I've been told that I'm not charging enough. Maybe, but we don't seem to be having a hard time right now. We're doing okay. Yeah. I mean, we're not like we're not floating in money or anything, but we're doing okay. And I feel comfortable with what we're doing. So I'm giving you guys like this really cool deal. In there is clothing fabric, there is quilting fabric, there's patterns. And if you come into the store, we also have like already pre-cut half yards and quarter yards. But you can look online and see a lot of it. I had the sweetest exchange with one of our customers the other day. She said, you know, I've never looked at your website. Hmm. And the other day I decided to. She said it made it so much easier because then she, she saw all kinds of things she'd never seen before. Because I don't care how many times you walk through the store. Because you're only seeing this part of a bolt. Sometimes it's hard to see everything. Well, on the website, you get to see the whole fabric. You know, you see a big picture of it. So, and you can help me by letting me know if you find any problems on the website because we're always trying to fix stuff. We're always trying to make it better. So if you find something where maybe there isn't a picture or there's some, we've got over, right now, we've got well over 2,000 yard different bolts of fabric and we've got all the notions and we've got all the other stuff threads and so forth so now our website has well over 10,000 items on it wow. it is very difficult for us to make sure everything's perfect all the time we make mistakes like anybody but I know you guys you're very kind and you're very sweet and you'll let me know if there's any issues mm -hmm. you see so I'd appreciate it but what you should do now is you should go and look on the online store at universityofsewing.com and go through there. Because at 60% off, when are you going to get a better deal than that? Yeah. If you do a lot of charity quilts, this is, this is a way to get that fabric for less than what it costs me. So we're trying to just move it along, get it to its next home. We want to give you guys the greatest deal. We put a, put a bunch of stuff at the end of December into the clearance section. 
you are getting, there's, there's blenders in there. There's that, that's usually doesn't end up in the clearance section. So there's wonderful blenders. So you've got lots of, there's some flannels in there. Ooh. So this is a amazing time to buy stuff and you know, you need it. Yeah. Have you, you ever, need more fabric. I, I, well, and you know what? The cool thing about things like the solid flannels, which is what ended up in the clearance sections, are solid flannels. The really cool thing about that is that you can use that instead of batting. Oh, I never even thought about that. I've done that before. I've used it instead of batting. Huh. Um, especially if you're using it on a long arm or on your sewing machine, you're doing machine quilting. Yeah. There's no reason you can't use it for a, a layer for batting, and it keeps it really thin then. You know, so that's a nice way to handle it. I did a quilt for my brother, and I showed you guys, I think, that quilt. And what I did was I used the sore wide back, and then I put flannel on the back, and that's all I used. And it turned out really nice. Hmm. So you can use it in, you can use it as your backing. You could use it as a layer for instead of batting. Um, although we have plenty of batting in the store. I'm not trying to suggest you yeah. shouldn't buy that, but it's a cool idea. Um the other thing that it's really good for is like if you're making bags, like tote bags in particular, it helps you give you that other layer you need so it's a little more substantial. Mm -hmm. So that's a kind of cool way to use it. Um, and then we've got, you know, I've I've actually taken flannel and used it as an extra layer in a coat. I was thinking, when you said for batting, I was thinking about my coat that I'm still still working on. There you go. Yeah. Be good. Yeah. It might actually be really comfortable. So, but it also can add some weight. So you might only want to use it in the front and back, but not use it on your sleeves and things like okay. that. So there's some stuff you've got to consider there. But speaking of making things and doing stuff, we have a whole bunch of new classes online. There is a lot. So there is a lot of classes online right now. January is pretty well filled up. We're now starting to look at February and February is going to be embroidery month. Oh, so February is embroidery month. And you guys, you, if you're thinking about embroidery stuff, there's going to be all kinds of deals and things to do with that and classes. We're going to do a lot of classes with Alice. With Alice. Yeah. Yeah. So you she, want to get she, in on that. <laughs> she's already got a lot of it online. And I'm actually planning on going to one of her classes because oh, I yeah. figured out that if I don't go to a class, I'm never going to learn how to embroider. No. <laughs> so, okay. So let's see. Well, I was wondering if we had enough to talk about today, but I think we are going to end up a little bit early today. Keep posted. I have a couple of really cool class ideas I'm working on. Mm. Mm. Yes, I've got some cool stuff. I but I got I actually had time to play over the holidays. A Good. Bit. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. It almost <laughs> never happens. Because so. I came in and saw all the changes made in the shop, and I was like, "You all were so busy. You got to play." I'm well, so glad to hear we it. we redid the classroom. I think it looks really pretty. I still have some things I'd like to see done, but boy, we're in we're in a really good place. I think. Yeah. Okay. So the giveaway today. And the deal is when you share, um, you have to do that. If you want to be in the giveaway, you have to do it within 24 hours of our video. But you just go on, share it on Facebook. Go ahead and put, um, go ahead and put in the comments that you shared. And if you're the winner, even if you live in, say, Portland or mm -hmm. Seattle or wherever. You know, wherever you want, wherever, we're, we are still happy to ship it to you. So, um, and these don't cost us very much to ship. Mm. It's fine. So, we're happy to do that. And you just need to let us know. And if it's you and we don't have your information in our system, we'll contact you and let you know that you are the winner. And we will contact you and let you know that you have won. So, everybody, I hope your Saturday is glorious. It here is the sunshine, the sunshine is out. It's supposed to go up to 40. I'm thrilled. Um, it's a, it's going to be a wonderful day. Yes. Oh, and, and check out the earrings. I'm wearing earrings today, guys. They're very pretty. I've been yeah. looking at them. Yeah, these were a gift from that cute guy I married. <gasps> <Aww>. <laughs> so, he did really well. Yeah, I was pretty proud of them. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I, I I just usually have to point him in a direction and then I give him free reign and he does pretty yeah. good with that. So <laughs> thank you to the venue here in Bloomington. If you've never shopped there, oh, it's pretty cool. They have, Very, nice stuff. they have nice stuff. All right, everybody. Have a super Saturday and we'll see you next Friday for Facebook Live.